Safety leadership is around getting the operational leaders from the work sites that we have around the world in to get them into a common standard and understanding of what we want from a safety leader, our expectations, and give them some tools and techniques to help them deliver those expectations to the workforce. Right. Let's see. Right. You ready for me? Yep, ready as I'll ever be. One of the things we're really working on this year is intervention skills and trying to get people to understand human factors and human behaviours. The challenge for us is making it different every year, upping our game every year, and I think this year is probably the best workshop that, that we've we've done we've done to date. Hey, Davey boy, oh, so what are you doing, mate? Listen, uh, uh, yeah, to make just, it just even more powerful, we've pulled in professional actors, and they will dramatise uh, an incident that happens in the railway. And we've deliberately gone to a, an, another industry outside of oil and gas to show that you actually have got the skills and talents to, to make this happen. And you know what? The man who was in charge the day that train derailed, killing my mum. The day they finally admitted in court that it was their fault for not inspecting the lines properly. The very same day, he were getting his knighthood for services to engineering. It stinks! Safety were non-existent. They put cash above people's lives. We are a big organisation, we have a huge reputation to manage, but nothing's more important than safety. Right, okay, listen, enough of the, enough of the Lewis pitch. What, what we actually need to do... So what our concept is, is about giving the, the, the attendees some skills and techniques that will help them through some behavioural conversations they need to have in order to improve, um, improve safety. It's done in an environment where they actually get some theory, they get some practical tra training, we use some role players so they can practice that, but it's all done in a very safe environment so they can practice these techniques so they can take them back to their working environment and, and, and learn how, how to use them in that environment when they need to. Push the people in trousers, I don't believe me. Hey, listen. It's the human element that needs to be addressed, not processes or plant and equipment. So the programme addresses the human factors of why people maybe do something at risk or they do it safely. We have the Pedro Vat Leader's Guide to Safe Operations. It's nine elements in it. We've built the course around that and that is about what Petrofac expects of you as a person who works for us and then also what you should expect of us as an employer. What you get here are the tools to then take away and share with other people offshore uh, and it helps. You know what you've got to do on a, on a daily basis offshore but it's good to come back to these events and just refresh your memory, recharge your batteries and, and learn new things and, and be excited about taking them back offshore again. I would say definitely come along, try it, come with an open mind uh, and just get involved.